Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about some WWE. Yeah, we're on the road to SummerSlam. Yes. The long road to SummerSlam. Um, yeah, it's definitely feeling that way. But then again, it's a long road to every pay-per-view. It's nowadays. true. I guess we'll uh, get an extreme rules out of the way first. Yeah, we should or probably not talk so about extreme that. rules. Should probably talk about that pay-per-view. Yeah. Um, I didn't think it was bad. No, I know you enjoyed it. It was entertaining, which is well, good. That's the thing. If you took away, I guess, the competitive nature on a lot of things and inputted the entertainment, it would outweigh it mm-hmm. severely. Like the Oscar Carmella match. Like it was entertaining to watch, but, but when you think about the way that it impacts the story, right? And exactly. Everything. Exactly. The only person who benefited from that was Carmella. It's true. So. Because uh, Asuka looks kind of dumb. Foolish, yes. Um, James Ellsworth, obviously, while he doesn't need anything to gain because they're kind of kind of booking him as someone that everybody yeah. hates, so it kind of makes sense. Um, Properly booked. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> so that part is a kind of a non-factor, mm-hmm. but still. It's true. Um, but yeah, it's just... Like, what in the world happened with the u.s title match like uh, i i guess be i don't know if because my original thought was jeff all right showed up, yeah yeah no oh, or he, he showed up drunk again <laughs> no 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 because that well okay yes that was an initial thought that was but, exactly <laughs> what i thought because christine happened. was like oh is he drunk again and i said i don't think so no nah, because he came out to looking too yeah aware <laughs> yeah that's true um but yeah, no, low blow, Kinshasa, that's it. Good. Yeah. At first, I, I, I was like, oh, maybe he's injured, and that's mm-hmm. why they just wanted to get it out of the way and done. And then I think they announced it that it was gonna get, they were going to be a rematch on SmackDown, mm-hmm. and then they gave it a full 20 minutes last night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, huh. But apparently he's taking some time off. Well, what I was thinking was my initial thought, at the mm-hmm. very least, was this was a way to get the title on to Shinsuke mm-hmm. without making Jeff look bad. Right. And then at the same time, bringing Orton in and establishing him as a heel. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because that's 100% what that, what that was yeah. about. Because he was, Jeff is the perfect person for him to attack outside of like AJ Styles, but there's no point in having him yeah. attack AJ unless he's going for the title. Yeah, which you don't want so, to happen. Yes. So, and if, if they do do something at some point, like, if, if Jeff comes back, if he does take I would time just, off. He'll probably take some time off and then come back, and then we'll no, I'm, uh, But I'm just out. saying, if that happens, mm-hmm. that'll probably be Randy Orton's best feud for a very long time. Cause, I, w- I was just very happy with the way he returned. Yeah, because... You nothing, know how much I love Randy Orton. <laughs> there was nothing big. He just came out with the, with the nasty look on his face. Everyone thought he was going to go after Shinsuke. And well, then, yeah. Then he went after. But I mean, he plays the asshole perfect. Mm-hmm. Like, like it's, it's so meant for his character to be yeah, heel. Because but... it was funny. I was thinking about it earlier, where this kind of made Shinsuke look bad because he needed to cheat to win. Mm-hmm. Where Randy Orton, as a heel, he doesn't need to cheat to win. He just, just needs to be himself to be yeah, the bad he guy. Just, uh, <laughs> so. Doesn't give a shit and uh, does whatever he wants. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Pre-show is decent. Uh, Andrade and Sin Cara, outside of one spot that didn't look very pretty when uh, oh when, when Sin Cara went jumped off the bat, uh, on the outside yeah for the Hurricane Rana mm-hmm. and completely missed him but Andrade was able to hold on to him and yeah. still make it look decent yeah um and then and then uh, the tables match with Sanity it was going actually over. quite good yeah yeah it wasn't bad I, yeah. I, it was they're very entertaining yeah shorter than I thought but it kind of makes sense well like, that was the thing I think there was what. Three matches over ten minutes, if that? Yeah, three matches. Yep. Six seconds, Shinsuke versus Jahardi. Wow. Still yeah. not was it faster than Rusev's lost to Orton? I think it was seven <laughs> seconds. Um that was SummerSlam last year. How the things have changed. Yeah. Now Rusev's in a title match. Yeah, that was a good title match. I it, enjoyed it. It was good. And yeah. they you know, I mean the way that they had the matches placed on the card it kind of i was like maybe they are gonna give it to rusev and then you have seth go over and all the fans go home happy well it's funny because i was thinking that like after reigns and bobby lashley Mm -hmm. went on i'm like they're actually gonna put the wwe title (laughs) in the main event 
I was wrong. like, oh no, are they going to have Ronda Rousey in the main event, even though she's not on the card? Yeah. We are both wrong. <laughs> ended up being the Iron Man match. Yeah, and... Um, match was kind of ruined by the crowd a little bit um no the match was well it well, was ruined by the crowd and then the way it ended well that and it was paced very poorly as well because you had it you know basically running gun for the first five minutes and then all of a sudden we sat there for what 20 minutes and something like that yeah it whatever maybe it was the first 10 minutes but no, either way yeah it was just poorly paced mm-hmm. because the rest of the show i thought the pacing was decent mm-hmm I mean, well, it didn't a lot feel like I was sitting too. there. And they opened good with the B team versus Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. That was a, a huge shocker. surprise. I, I loved their reaction, though. It was very, uh, mm-hmm. I guess, real yeah. seeming. Oh, and then the backstage segment with, with them and Roman. Oh, I was like, oh, man, if Roman would have won, we could have seen him with the B team. Yep. Uh, uh anyway yeah um finn balor obviously beat baron corbin because yeah. there's no other way of doing no, that no uh, baron corbin's arch nemesis the roll-up <laughs> <It's true. laughs> happens a lot it's true it happens a can't lot. can't figure it out no uh kevin owens manages to defeat braun Strowman against his will that was fantastic yeah but i mean he couldn't have landed any better like it was pretty much dead center mm-hmm. of the table the monitors were still there mm-hmm. everything like that it's like a randy orton match where he doesn't clear the table like he did last <laughs> night against jeff hardy or poorly cleared it i should say yeah. um, but uh that was great because it it honestly it seemed like there was a chance that kevin owens could have legitimately pulled it off because he outsmarted braun and handcuffed he, him to the rope yeah which was hilarious because yep. braun's going like this on the handcuffs like just move your arm you know you can break it yeah and uh, then he ended up doing that and kevin owens had yeah what did he hit him with face. a choke slam yeah just throw him off yeah we, no when uh when he was handcuffed to the ropes and owens was still near him i thought he uh, slammed him down maybe. or something yeah yeah but yeah no he uh it's great he gave him the crotch chop and started to go up the cage yep. and, and then, then he kissed him goodbye and then that's when braun said uh not today nope. ripped his hand off and that was good threw him off the top good of the cage stuff. and i was like holy shit and then he congratulated uh him on his victory <laughs> which was good do you realize you lost out there did i really <laughs> uh yeah um bludgeon brothers retained against team hell no because they attacked yeah because apparently kane got injured prior to the show oh so it was legit? yeah it's a legit injury oh, okay. yeah um so he was legitimately... Yeah, I guess he was walking with the boot for, I guess, a couple of days beforehand. Um, I don't know the length of time exactly, but mm-hmm. yeah, I know he was doing that. But he so. got attacked before the match, mm-hmm. um, and then Daniel Bryan starts the match by himself, which was kind of weird because they had him get dominated at first and then look like he's easily schooling the Bludgeon right. Brothers. Yeah. Kane comes out to help, and they end up losing. Yeah. Um... It would have been fantastic had the Miz not been at the uh, what was he at the all not the All Star game because it was, was like the celebrity, the celebrity celebrity right, game. right right right. Um, if the Miz had been there and they were looking for a replacement and put Miz and Brian, I was together. hoping that they'd do that. So some people were speculating that he did both because one was in L A. Yeah. So with the time difference, they oh could okay have yeah pulled it off. Um, but obviously it didn't happen. Um, yeah, they were in what Pennsylvania. Yeah, they were in, f- f- yes, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, Pittsburgh, to mm. be specific. Yes. Um, and then... Uh, I mean, both women's matches were kind of garbage. Well... Uh, as far as from a wrestling standpoint. Yeah, because the, the Raw women's title match was a mess. And we all knew exactly what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. So, but obviously, Lex Bliss ended up winning. Yep. She, she hit her with the DT off the chair i think I, on the ground i, I think don't know. that's how it I, I, I kind of was yeah. just stopped paying attention it wasn't that really that important whatever match was only seven minutes long mm-hmm. she felt much longer there's a that. lot of people running around in yeah i guess that's true so um but yeah yeah alexa Lashley, bliss is still champion yeah lashley and reigns was overtaken by the crowd which was not a surprise no and it wasn't a terribly bad match um i fell asleep during it i <laughs> but whatever yeah 
It is what it is. No, I actually did go over. I it's guess true. That was the right thing to he do. He hit him with the spear. One spear, single spear, nothing else. Mm-hmm. The guy that kicked out of what four F fives at yep. WrestleMania. Yep. Oh, There's very geez. consistent booking going on here. <sighs> yeah. So that, does that mean that Bobby Lashley can beat Brock Brock Lesnar because he took down Roman in one finisher? Well, when we get to Raw, we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll figure that we'll out. Talk that out. Yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah. We AJ. didn't really talk about yeah AJ and Rusev. Yeah, that was, that was a good match. They, it was. They. I like that the reason why Rusev lost was because of Aiden English's I mistake. I like it and hate it at the same time. Why? Because you think that this no, is going to... they're gonna... definitely going to go with that angle. What, getting rid of uh, Aiden English? Yeah. Is that why you hate it, though? Yes. Yeah, okay. that's the only reason why I hate it. So... Because now, what the hell is Aiden English going to do? Nothing. I do not have faith in he's WWE's gonna, creative. He's going to start actually singing, like, on a regular basis. And for no reason. Oh, yeah. So, oh yeah but whatever mm-hmm. um but yeah aiden english went to or he tore to- off the top turnbuckle yeah. and rusev really went head first into that yeah, thing and it's <laughs> it's funny too because it was a while before mm-hmm. they actually used it so it was good um but yeah i think rusev went to go for something something aj ducked out of the way he ran right into it this allows aj to hit the phenomenal forearm and then mm. I think that was it, it, right? was it. Oh, oh yeah 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 because uh no he hit the 450 the... splash and then the forearm right he hit or the 450 the, earlier the in way. the match no he went for it i think he missed it the first oh time. did he miss it the first time yeah um anyway uh the moral of the story is aj retained his title yeah he put in the calf crusher a bunch of times, so it kind of seemed like mm-hmm. the, they might have yeah. gotten Rusev to tap out yeah. there was times where it looked like aj was going to tap out to the accolade mm-hmm. so yeah pretty, no they put on a good match Mm-hmm. and uh what it should have been and then the ic title main event of the show mm-hmm. again it yep. was strange the way they booked it at the end and yeah well especially considering the fact that mcintyre was at ringside what was seth up three nothing at this point Two. i think i thought it was three it was three when mcintyre attacked oh right yes he got the dq but then he got the third victory and mcintyre still beating him up mm-hmm. uh-huh. but there was no continuation right. of yes. more because I guess it still counts as one attack, which is stupid. Which is why having him out there was the dumbest thing yeah. they could possibly have done. Because mm-hmm. I get what they're going for was to like establish Seth out of the picture, right? By having him lose, like mm-hmm. clearly. But why are you doing this? Because it, it doesn't make any sense. Because it's not definitive when you have that. So, but. I don't know. But, yeah, Whatever. the crowd kind of ruined part of this match because they had the timer on the screen mm-hmm. and basically did the Royal Rumble nonsense yep. where they counted down for the whole every minute, and then time. they did half minutes, mm-hmm. and then they took the clock away. And I guess, apparently, I think Seth had uh, said something to Dolph, like, oh, they should have just left the clock up. It's worse now. <laughs> because I guess they were doing it. They were guessing. Oh, okay. That, that would explain why yeah, it, was it random. seemed like it was... Because it was still on the screen... And then I guess people that were at the event said people were logging into their phones and onto Watching the network the so they could get the mm-hmm. countdown. I was like, oh, it's bad. Man. Yeah. And then I, the the commentator said something I think about like something about it. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what, but it was like an off the cuff thing. Obviously, they weren't happy about it. No, no. they kind of um, made a joke to make it seem like the crowd was really into it or whatever. right. And then. Uh, <sighs> They were at four and four. Yeah. Seth hits the the time. Yeah. It's like five seconds or nine seconds left. And then he was crawling and he got over at what, two? Yeah. And then they didn't even get the count. Nope. So then we figure it's a draw. Kurt Angle comes out. Sudden death. We we settle things in the ring. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Sudden death. McIntyre comes out. What did he hit Seth with the Claymore? No. no, he, he just, just he just jumped, jumped on, on the, the apron. apron. Yeah, no. and then, and then hit, he Dolph, got hit with the zigzag. Yeah, Dolph's mo- finishing moves finally got some uh, pinfalls. It's true. Yeah, it's not very common. No. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that Dolph was... Ziggler is still Intercontinental Champion. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is the first time in 17 years that the IC title has headlined a pay per view. Something like that. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's what they right. said. Yes, and then. I don't, because I heard that maybe, 
Because I heard something else about like the last time it was mm-hmm. the main event or something. It was probably um, when Triple H had it, right? No, they had said that it was in 1992 when it was Bret Hart versus the British Bulldog. Oh, okay. For the IC mm-hmm. title, but I, I maybe that means it was the last time the someone holding the Intercontinental title was in the main event. I don't know. But I don't that know. doesn't I make any not. sense because I'm sure Elimination Chamber main evented two years ago when or this year when the Miz was in it, right? So that's probably not true. Yeah, but either way, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I didn't look into it. Yeah. Oh, during the pay per view as well, Kurt Angle said he would give Brock an ultimatum. You know, and uh, that brings us to Monday Night Raw. Woo! Oh yeah, Kurt Angle and his empty threats. Man, Kurt Angle is terrible. He's the not... only thing worse would be if they brought Hulk Hogan in. Yeah, it's true. You know it's going to happen, right? He's not going to be the GM. It might happen. You mm. never know. It, were they going to have him replace Angle? I don't know. Or be his, uh, his right-hand man. Well, he's already would... got Corbin. Yeah, well, he's his left-hand man. It's weird. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. Um, they don't know what they're doing with Monday Night Raw. That's for damn sure. They're not even throwing shit at the wall and seeing if it sticks. They're just throwing shit like monkeys, just <laughs> all over Everywhere. the place. So, because, uh, I mean... What? All right, no, no, you can all right. go on. So Angle comes out and reiterates his ultimatum for Brock Lesnar. Um, and he says that if he doesn't defend his title at summer, or doesn't have a date that he defends his title, then he'll be have no choice but to take the title away from him. Mm-hmm. Paul Heyman comes out and says that... Uh, Brock Lesnar's not here tonight, but I'm here to answer that he will defend the title. And then he said something about when he goes for his championship fight in UFC, UFC, he will be defending the Universal title as well with honor or something (sighs) nonsense like that. Something like that. Um, So, again, we're still going with the, okay, let's get everyone to hate Brock Brock Lesnar thing. I was like, man, I wish the crowd just started cheering him. Then they wouldn't know what to do. Well... Because the thing is, everybody already doesn't want him around. Right. There's nothing to gain. It's true. Because if you have a starting point and your goal is to get or make something happen that is a result of actions, if you don't change anything, you're not going to get a different result. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. Absolutely. Because so, people already boo Roman Reigns mm-hmm. and they already don't <laughs> want Brock Lesnar around. <laughs> So making you mean it, we saw that in the main event of WrestleMania? They didn't give a shit who was uh, winning there? Yep. So. Um, but yeah, anyway, everybody pleaded their case. About, did, did Roman come out? Yes. Lashley came out. Rollins came out. McIntyre came out. Was Roman the last one out? Yes. Okay. Because I, I, like, I don't remember yep. seeing him come out. So I remember everybody else coming out. Yeah. But anyway. Everybody else had much longer and more defined speeches probably. Yeah. Um, well, they had reasons why they. And Rome was like, "Well, I got I'm no the big excuses." Dog. Rough, uh, rough. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Angle makes two triple threat matches. Mm-hmm. Uh, one Announces the second one first. first. Yes, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it was going to be Seth Elias, Seth versus Elias versus Bobby Lashley, and mm-hmm. then Roman versus Finn versus McIntyre. Yes. And so the main event caliber one went on right after this, mm-hmm. and the significantly less, uh, I guess, potential one was the main event of the night. Right. So, which is just yeah, hilarious. It's true. <laughs> so, yeah, Roman versus Balor versus McIntyre was the first match of the night. Mm-hmm. This was probably the better of the two. Uh, I don't think probably is the it, correct Okay, one. it was. It yeah, was. Definitely. Very, was. yes, yes. There was, a lot, there was better spots. There was more action. It was more extreme than extreme rules. And it seemed like there was more potential for an upset. Right, Because yes. Drew McIntyre Oh, my God, out, when he came out he during came the out thing, with, I was like... With, <gasps> his promo was great because he's like... I. I just having Ziggler win the IC title was the first step. First step. Right? Yeah. The second step is the universe title. I'm like, I believe you. But then I was like, fuck. This means Dolph Ziggler is going to be by himself. No. I know, I know, but. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. No, I mean, they could. I just they could figured be friends. he was. Yeah, I know. Chris Jericho but, had the US title when Kevin Owens had the universal true. title, and they were still it's best true. friends. But we will get to Ziggler next. Mr. Ziggles. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, Roman wins, hits a spear on Finn. Um, very competitive match, though. 
Finn looked pretty good despite taking the pin. Yeah. As he usually does and usually takes he the pin. He got beat up Roman with a chair. He did. Yeah, because there's no disqualifications mm-hmm. in triple threat match. Yeah, because uh, Finn went up top first, and that's when McIntyre pulled out the chair, right, and hit him. I think so. Yeah. So it was, it was good because it actually made it seem like people cared about the Universal title. Mm-hmm. When was the last time that happened? I don't know. it hasn't happened yep. this year. So, basically, we can go from this match all the way to the main event and then have the result of that main event and nothing happened on Raw. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, uh, something did happen. Well. Something very strange happened. Okay, yes. Well, I don't know. We can probably be talking about a few things. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't happen for a little while. All right, so... <laughs> Anyway, next... Well, we don't have to go into detail about it. We got Dolph Ziggler versus Bobby Roode. Yes. A feud that was probably so bad that they got rid of it because Bobby Roode started forgetting his lines on TV when Dolph uh, did Had his no, no entrance thing. That's yes. right. Yeah. I they did the two out of three falls yeah. on SmackDown. Yeah. And then it just disappeared. Mm-hmm. But okay. Dolph... Yeah, I mean, I think Bobby was forgetting his lines at that point. Like it was, it was so bad, and we were so happy that it was gone. Yeah. And then after and then this, we happened, completely forgot like, about oh, it. Shit, that did happen. <laughs> um, Mojo beat up Tyler Breeze. Mm-hmm. There was a shocker there. Yep. Does Mojo have new music every week, or am I just not remembering his music? Uh, you probably don't remember it, because it's like the dun dun dun. Yeah, I know, but I feel like it's different variations nah, of it every so week. It's the same. the same one. Yeah. I like this old music, mm-hmm. but whatever. Since uh, we no settle, longer a hype, bro. Yeah, since we settle things in the ring on Monday Night Raw, we're gonna put Bailey and Sasha Banks together again. Even yep. though you know we they just went through two anything. weeks of uh, counseling. Yep. So this is the stupidest thing they've ever done. I I think for sure, right? Like this is the this is the most misused oh feud that could have yes. potential absolutely because like i've said numerous times again once we finally get to that match nobody's gonna care nope because they go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth mm-hmm. and now all of a sudden um there's a double count out very strange very strange the way they ended the match um after the match they're in the locker room and all of a sudden sasha says she loves bailey we're gonna get a lesbian angle yeah that's what it seems like very strange makes no sense because they booked sasha for the longest time to be like doing whatever she can to get ahead so if if bailey was the one who said it it would make sense because she keeps on going back to sasha despite the fact that sasha does all these bad things but she's they've been separate since bailey attacked her right kind of they haven't teamed yeah no they did or or no, no that no, was no, no. That, that was the last time that was they, the yeah last and then time. they went to counseling after that yeah um so it it's I just mean, utter nonsense the the way it was delivered was good because it actually felt like there was some emotion behind if it it was much earlier it would be okay yeah this just everything everything right now without them killing each other is just too late yeah it's too late mm-hmm so either that or send one of them to SmackDown like Kurt Angle threatened to. Oh, my God. Well, Elf, that was one of my favorite parts of Raw. Later on, when Corey was talking oh. to Michael Cole about it, he's like, oh, you can no longer say it's boss time. I was like, son of a bitch, send Roman over to SmackDown, too. I <laughs> don't have to hear. It's the big dog. Are you seriously think that Byron's not going to say it? He will. But exactly. Uh, I don't hate Byron as much as... You don't like Michael don't Cole? Like Michael. All right, fine. And let's be honest, SmackDown is going to be the A-show when it's on Fox. Probably, yeah. So where are they going to put the big dog? That's fair. There's going to be a shakeup next year. Oh, or yeah. or a full-on draft. They'll probably have a full-on draft they since might. they have the new contracts. Yeah. Especially if SmackDown's going to change days. Yeah. It, it might be uh, a good way to like build up mm-hmm. hype and stuff Yeah, with the full-on draft. Plus, I still don't like that Friday time slot. They do. Yeah, I know, but I'm probably not going to watch it as often as I normally would watch. It doesn't matter. No, though. I know. Especially but... with SmackDown being two hours, they put the whole thing on Hulu. It's true. You don't actually, you're not at risk of missing anything like you are with Raw. Although, apparently everybody said this week's Hulu was very good because you got the two triple threat matches. 
the stuff with Bailey and Sasha. I told you and that then the, the, and episode, the episodes of yeah. of Raw that I watched, just the Hulu version, much I thought were really good. Because <laughs> it's an hour and a half. There's rather than no three commercials. Hours. There's no stupid filler. There's no cruiserweights, but they're not on Raw anymore anyway. So, but it's just it's it's digestible. It's true. Whereas the whole show really isn't. Yeah. So yeah, not three hours. Um, I mean, uh, let's. I mean, we got the Ascension on Raw this week. We did. I mean, the Ascension against the B team of all. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great. A year uh, ago, if you had Curtis, that wouldn't even make main event, or it'd probably be on main yeah, event. Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas against the <sighs> Ascension. Yeah. On Raw. <sighs> it's funny. And um, then I. I, I just, I did it again. Silly bastard. Yeah. Um, I took a bathroom break at this point, so I think I missed most of Alexa and Nikki and um, the Authors of Pain versus Titus Worldwide, which is basically... Wow, well, you must have had a really long bathroom break. Was. <laughs> Sitting there thinking about what am I going to do? Contemplating my life That's decisions. That's it. That's the best place to do it. Um. Anyway, so what happened... Was... Oh, wait, no, I lied. I did see part of the Alexa, Mickey stuff. It was after that that... The bathroom break. Was, gotcha. Yes. Uh, anyway, Alexa comes out and says that oh, I'm better than everybody, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And then Rana comes to the crowd and she, uh, then they're like, oh, we got to go. And then they split or try to. They're interesting here. Her, uh, oh, her yes. braids. Very strange. Like a duty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rana cuts them off at the entrance and they, she beats them both up pretty mm-hmm. much. And then. They send out security. Ronda beats up security. Uh, Angle comes out like, you need to be punished. Or did he say that? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. That's not no, true. Was Corbin came yeah, out. Yeah, Corbin came out after Angle did. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Angle just tried to stop her. Corbin came out. And then well, he said, your you need to do your not job. Till tomorrow, yeah, you right? Need to, you need to go home yeah. and chill. Come back next week or yeah. whatever like and that. And then Corbin's like, she needs to be reprimanded. So Kurt Angle's like, okay, I'm gonna extend it a week, and so, then well, and then he said you're gonna get a title shot at SummerSlam if, if you don't if you don't mess up. Yeah, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is so dumb. It's like, well, I get to stay home and get my title shot True. and get paid anyway. You got it. You know that belt's going on her, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh. There's a good build to it. It's yeah. crazy, but it's it's not bad. No, but it, it's. We're just gonna be in the Brock Lesnar situation all over again. I think Ronda's gonna be around a lot. No, not often. not for that. You mean dominance? The, yeah, absolutely. for no reason. Yeah. I honestly, I hope that she holds the title for a little while and then she like legit loses to like Sasha or Bailey. Yeah. I think that would be the best way to go. Because you're gonna because you're building her up so well I here. Felt her up so strong. And and then you're gonna just ground her by having her lose to mm-hmm. someone who's legitimately. I mean, Oscar all over again. <laughs> well, not well. You mean with her? You mean like Ronda? I mean that. I, I think that's what WWE does. They never think long term. Yeah. We don't say, "Oh shit, we booked ourselves into a corner." You know what? Scrap everything we did mm-hmm. and just do whatever. Who cares? B team versus the Ascension over and go. over. <laughs> well, not even that. But I mean, Oscar was dominant for so long. Regardless of what shenanigans got in her way, she yeah. always prevailed. Yeah. Nope. James Ellsworth hanging from a fucking shark cage. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. that was pretty funny though. I know. I like don't know I what said, he was I wearing. Was entertain- but... Um, he had like, oh, he had like a bunch of uh, no on his legs. Yeah, yeah, it was like a bunch of uh, bandanas wrapped around his ah. leg. But he had probably he had probably like a cord or something because he had something on his chest. Uh, yeah, it was or his li- stomach. like a brace. Yeah. That probably had like a wire that went to his legs. So Makes sense. But anyway. Yeah. Um, and then we got and then Ember. I guess that was her first technically main Ross main roster loss, right? Yeah. To Sarah Logan, who apparently is now a Viking, right? Uh, they kept on going on and on about it. Which I mean makes sense because the whole War Raiders thing, and she's was she married to I forget Mike. One of the, the I think I heard War something Machine. about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, well, original War Machine. Yeah, so I don't know if maybe they're thinking long term for when the you just said going. they don't think. Long-term. I all right, not long term, somewhere medium in the term. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, probably the, not. I think what they're doing is trying to make her character more interesting. Yeah, that's Rather probably like a wolf. Yeah, 
That's probably all it is. Um, and then our main event, Rollins versus Elias versus Lashley. Mm-hmm. I was really hoping in the beginning of the show that we got Rollins versus Elias versus McIntyre. Yes, the three evolutions <laughs> of, uh, of Rollins. <laughs> but it wasn't. No. This wasn't great. They didn't give it much as much time as you would anticipate. You know, you would have the, thought. See, no, it's funny. I don't even think that's true. Yeah, did they give it like twenty minutes or something like Probably. that? Probably. It ended what five after yeah, eleven. It ended very early. Yeah. So they could have done a lot more. Yeah. It's not like they were crunched for time. No, but I mean, the the way all three of them worked together just didn't seem no very. Well, good. you got you got a big brooding guy, mm-hmm. a big brooding guy, and the most agile person on the roster. So. Yeah. What, what are you gonna do? Rollins is, can't do literally everything. So <laughs> why not? Yeah, he was pretty close. Why not? Yeah, so. Lashley wins with a spear on Elias, and we're back to Roman Reigns versus Bobby, Bobby Lashley. Lashley next week. So Raw is a complete waste of time. Yeah, because you basically all you needed to do is make the match on Sunday a uh, number one contendership yeah. match, and poof. Yeah, I mean, granted, there's a good possibility that this Roman could just wins. turn into a triple threat. Also, at some some time. kind of stupid double Hulk pin Hogan nonsense. The enforcer. Maybe it's definitely <laughs> possible. So, wh- what has to happen for that to happen? What the triple threat? Yeah, Lesnar comes out and beats them both up. I know he's not going to come out. I was going to say, what are the chances of him actually showing up on Raw? Because that was the big, that was the most obvious thing I could think of. Yeah, less of. Uh, a double pin situation. Double count out, shit like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Because I was thinking maybe they'll find a way to make it a fatal four-way and have someone interfere in that match. Mm. But, yeah, no. I don't well, I don't see that happening, though. No. I can't think of anything that would make sense because Braun would be the only one to make sense, right. but he is not going to be in well, it. Like I said, it's going to be a Sheamus all over again when Reigns won after... Confetti comes from yep, the sky. After and... he beat, what, Ambrose, right, in that tournament? Yeah, he, when he won Rollins that tournament. was injured. Mm-hmm. And then everybody was mad, and then all of a sudden Sheamus came out, and he was their savior. That's not how that went, though. The crowd was excited about Were they? running. Yes. I thought they weren't. Maybe the live crowd was. The internet was not happy. Or was that the one where they were mad when he won, and then when he when they went back there, they were excited? I don't remember. I know they were mad when he uh, won the Royal Rumble. Yes, but that was <laughs> that was earlier than that. That was the year before. Was it? Yeah, because he won the Royal Rumble in 2015. 15. Okay, it was. 15. And then later that year was, was when, when he, he won, won the, the title. title. Okay, yeah, 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 that's right. So. Right, because he earned his shot against Lesnar, and that's when Rollins cashed in. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so moving on yeah. over to Smacky Down. Smack diddly down. Um, this show was very good. It was solid. And that's you know why? Sure. Because there was no thinking involved. Just, they literally just basically put matches on TV on a clean slate. Saw Samoa Joe. Yeah. It's been a while. Because I guess... <laughs> Ty Dillinger. Ty, yeah, Ty Dillinger was on the show. Oh, we got... We opened the show with Jeff Hardy talking about him getting his rematch tonight against Shinsuke, and that was going to end up being our main event. Mm-hmm. Um, then we got AJ Styles versus Andrade Cien Almas. Very surprising. Um, there was a video of, I guess, Selena walking up to AJ Styles backstage, and they ended up... Saying, what do you want, punk? Pretty much. And they made a match, and the match was very good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, that would be a good feud at some point. At some point, absolutely. I, I, I think they're going to go with Joe, AJ. Yeah, absolutely. If, if they don't... No, they can't possibly do something with Rusev, right? That, that's done? No, I would, he's going to be with that whole Aiden English yeah, that's nonsense. What I was um, but yeah, AJ versus uh, Samoa Joe would be the most likely path. Um, because... Which we will get next week. Where I think Paige said that there was going to be an announcement on AJ's SummerSlam opponent. Oh, okay. Unless we had some sort of match to determine it. That would hopefully make more mm-hmm. sense, because that's always a lot more fun. Yeah, absolutely. Having, having someone be appointed Six makes Six-pack no challenge. Sense. I don't think we have enough people. Just throw well, Ty Dillinger in there. Well, yeah, I guess that's true, because it could be Rusev, Joe. Um, Daniel Bryan. No. Daniel Bryan. It Miz. could be. The Miz. The Miz. Um, Randy Orton. Is he? I guess he's to, oh, he has to be cleared. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah. They wouldn't be putting him on TV. It's true. But and if, then yeah. have Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if they're. This is when they wrote Jeff Hardy off for a little while. Maybe. 
Um, what did he say he was going to... He said to Jeff when he attacked him that uh, you'll find out why I did this at a later date or something yeah, I don't, like that. Yeah, I couldn't tell what he was saying. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. He was trying to rip his gauge out and... Yeah, I... <sighs> You believe everything that Randy Orton's doing when he's an asshole. He's just that good at it. Like it, it, it's it's a talent. And the right? funny thing is, apparently, he's a really nice guy in person, or at least he seems that way. Yeah. In the interviews that I've seen, that um, he seems like he's very down to earth and you know. Yeah. Not a like a jerk, but I could be wrong. Yeah. I don't know. Never met the guy. No. It's true. Anyway. Yep. Uh, uh, Becky Lynch faced. Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose. She and won. She won, and then she said, Carmella, I'm coming for you. <laughs> so, yeah. It's got to be Hulk Hogan reference. Um, <laughs> so, and then Paige goes, did you see that? Uh, talking to Carmella, who's mm-hmm. standing next to her for whatever reason. Yep. And basically, she said, next week you have a match against um, Becky Lynch, and if you lose, she gets a title shot at SummerSlam. Yes, and this is what we talked about. Becky's the next one to she take should. the title. She should be. Yes, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, we don't know Ellsworth's status. He'll probably be around until Carmella drops the belt. I, I Unless, you know, I don't know. I, I hope that she drops it at SummerSlam. That would be that's, fine. That's what I would like. You have a... Have her rematch at the September pay per view, mm-hmm. um, and then at the Super Show in Australia, you have Becky versus Charlotte. Yes. Oh, they did you hear they announced that there's going to be an all women show? Yeah, I, I don't it know was. If that's going to pick up. What? Like it moving around? Oh, it's possible. <laughs> Definitely possible. I can hear it, so obviously it's probably going to show up on that. Yep. Whatever. Here come the dislikes. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. It's fine. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um anyway <laughs> yeah the all women show i don't know when that yeah i mean obviously this is we might be- see becky versus sasha there not becky versus sasha becky bailey, versus charlotte. Oh, bailey versus yeah, sasha that's true no i see becky versus charlotte as a like a continuous feud yeah no absolutely and then that'll eventually turn into charlotte and oscar at probably wrestlemania next year or maybe yeah but um but I'm guessing this is due to the backlash of the Greatest Royal Rumble, the yeah. women being left off the card. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, did you honestly think there wasn't going to be any backlash? They didn't care. Oh, obviously. But, I mean, they could have just avoided all of it and said, you know, don't worry, you'll be able to see all your favorite female superstars in their special pay-per-view or whatever. Well, the funny thing is I heard they all got compensated. Yeah, I get, Yeah, I think that was... So it's not like they got were getting uh, left off of no, a, I know. a card and lost money. That's true. So, but but at the same time, it's kind of disrespectful and everything. So it makes sense a little bit. Um, but a little bit. Anyway, yeah, it is what it is. Pretty much. So uh, we got Ty Dillinger fought Smojo. Yes, where he got destroyed. Yeah, all that was the- awesome with our truth. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> He's telling Ty Dillinger to take on Samoa Joe. But he's talking on his Bluetooth. He, I said, smile, Samo, not take on Samo, Joe. <laughs> that was good. Uh, that uh, was we got crazy. Eric Young versus Kofi Kingston, which was actually a pretty good match. Yeah. Uh, Kofi still can hold his own very well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like the New Day are going to break up anytime soon. No, no, no. No. Um, I think... And they talked about it, too. When? Uh, online. One of them was, was in it. I think it might have been Biggie. About them not doing it? No, yeah, about them not breaking up. Yeah, there's, there's no, no reason to. We can support there, each other. There's when, so you know, there's so much that they can do, and now that they've done it for a while, they can, they're proving it without being in the tag team division yeah. or without we're going for the titles. That it, it's it's just dumb because you could very easily take Biggie and put give him a title shot and have just the new day with him. Yeah, that's it. That's true. They don't need to be separate imagine if at some point they win like the u.s title and they like have it like where they rotate that would be cool that'd be cool yeah i'd be that'd fine be with that it'd be something different too yeah. um then we had the miz giving a eulogy to uh kane kane he came out with, no was it team hell it was team no hell no yeah, yeah yeah he came out and did his the thing creepy because, mask yeah that he had on the and on the, in the ring which led to daniel bryan coming out and attacking him so 
probably going to get it's that at SummerSlam. It's going to happen. So do you think they are going to do this at SummerSlam because they're unsure if Daniel Bryan is going to re-sign? I thought he did already. No. He didn't? Nope. I could. I thought I saw... I know you said... Yeah, you know, I, I had heard he signed, but that was a false <laughs> yeah. thing. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Because it's hard to say... Because I know a lot of people want this. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how much... You don't want it? No, I, I, I'm i perfectly fine with it. I was going to say, I don't know how much they have invested in this. Well... Play, if they think maybe there'd be something better than this. I think Daniel Bryan was interviewed, and they said, you know, oh, what about if you and The Miz had a match at WrestleMania or uh, something like mm-hmm. that? He was like, you think WWE Creative could create a storyline that long or something mm-hmm. like that? Yep. I was like, oh, it's so true. Yep, it's, it's true. It's so true. I heard that as well, Yeah. yeah. Um, so we had what the main event US title match rematch Mm -hmm. Shinsuke and Jeff Hardy and Mm -hmm. they put on a pretty good match Um, this was the match we were probably going to get at Extreme Rules until they decided to have whatever they did yeah I guess I don't know yeah but how did this end again I thought Randy Orton came out and just beat the crap out oh, of it, Jeff it Hardy. I thought it was, yeah. I know he came in at the end. I couldn't remember if the match yeah, finished or not. I don't not. think they finished. <laughs> oh, no. Jeff hit the twist of fate and the swanton bomb. Oh, and went then Randy. For, yeah, he was pinned, and then Randy came out, pulled, pulled his out leg out, and then just started beating okay. the crap out of him, yep. threw him into the yes. stairs, threw him over the announce <laughs> table, stuck his finger in his ear, <laughs> in his hole. Yep, yep, yep. Fingered his hole. Yep. So... All right, that, yeah, that makes sense. Now. Yeah. Randy Orton, heel. It's good stuff. So, as we say every week, Raw bad, SmackDown good. Um, that, <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Uh, Considering that SmackDown was a solid throughout show. Well, and, that, like I said, it was just an easy watch. There was no there was no nonsense, really. You're not sitting through dumb stuff. No. Or, it's like, why is this on TV? Yeah. So I didn't think it was, it was really cringeworthy or stuff that didn't make sense but yeah. whatever yeah this pretty much um we have what about a month now till SummerSlam. A i think month it's the 19th right yeah. yeah so so well yeah a lot can happen hopefully it doesn't suck i was gonna say not much <laughs> is gonna happen but a lot can happen yeah it's gonna drag and drag and drag i mean yeah, Raw is just brutal for three hours. It's true. I mean, even at two hours, what they're putting on, you still cut a good portion of the crap, but there's more crap there. Mm-hmm. Like, like I said, the Hulu versions are definitely a way to go. No yeah. commercials, no stupid stuff, or limited stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. So, but whatever. Yeah, is what it is. So that's uh, pretty much all we got. Mm-hmm. If yeah. you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.